The Zach's Rank, Value, Momentum, Growth and Income all factor into Zach's Rank Buys. You know, when we look for value among stocks, we always turn to our value stock strategist, Tracy Reinick, here at Zach's. She joins me once again because you uh, actually have been able to find value yeah. in a couple of stocks in a market that's not really cooperating. No. I mean, we've had a little bit of a pullback here in the overall indexes, but we finished the year out at record highs, and that means it's been a little tough to find the value. Mm -hmm. So uh, I am glad to come you know, talk about a couple that are here because I'm still able to find a few here and there. Isn't it something that the, the market has to fall apart before you can find I know. value among stocks? Yeah. I mean, that's not always good, but for value investors, we do like to see these pullback opportunities because it will present a few more opportunities for us to get in at least cheaper. Cheaper. All right. Well, the first one's a pharmaceutical company. It is a Pharmerica Corporation. They're a small cap, about 600 million market cap, but they do a big institutional kind of pharmaceutical services. So hospitals, um, assisted living, nursing homes, those kinds of areas that need like kind of mass quantities mm -hmm. pharmaceutical services. That's what they specialize in. Um, there's obviously demand, baby boomers getting older, sure. so they're seeing both organic growth and they've been acquiring some smaller competitors to grow that way as well. Um, last quarter was real good for them. They saw revenue growth up about 7.6% or so, almost yeah. 8%. Uh, a lot of that was organic growth through their big, um, big hospital type of pharmacies. And then, you know, that's boosting the Zach's rank. They also raised full year guidance that boosts the Zach's rank because all the estimates have to go up. So we do have the Zach's number one rank on, on this stock now. And um, they, you know, supposed to see good earnings growth again next year, 15% earnings growth, which is what you want to see. Plus it's a value stock. We're seeing like Ford P just around 12. Mm -hmm. That's way cheaper than the overall market, which is about 18 now for the S&P 500. So, uh -huh. It's a lot cheaper than what you get in the overall market, um, and it's just it's got you know these solid fundamentals. If that's you know, if you're looking for a good value stock with the growth component, which is harder to find, especially these days. Yeah, as we talked about. That's what you've been telling me. Um, these guys don't report earnings until I think it's the end of February, but I put up the earnings chart here so you can kind of see they haven't missed. Um, much in the last five years. This is the five-year chart. Only a couple misses well over four years ago. So they do have a good track record. Um, shares actually have come down in November pretty sharply. And so you can get a little bit more of a deal here if you're looking to buy a value stock. Um, it's cheaper than it ever has been before, as I said, at 12 times. So, you know, if you're looking for a healthcare stock that's kind of under the radar, mm -hmm. this is one you might want to consider. All right. What about if you're looking for an airline stock? Well, those are super hot right now. It's one of the hottest industries. Um, it's definitely, I think it's, a, it's in the top like three or four of all the Zacks industries right now because Tons of the estimates are going up as the fuel prices come down. A lot of the airlines are not hedged. Mm -hmm. So they're going to see big earnings gains this quarter, probably in the next quarter. All the airline affairs have stayed up. I don't know if yeah. you heard some of the complaints going on about that. There's been some rumblings in Congress now that they're going to investigate the airlines because they're not lowering fares. Right, not only stayed up, going higher. Well, in some cases, yeah, but yeah. they are going off supply and demand and they are privately run companies. So, you know, you have to give them credit where they're trying to make money when they can when the fuel prices go down. Sure. So my stock today is Hawaiian Holdings. Mm -hmm. I think I've talked about them in the past. I know I have. Parent of Hawaiian Airlines? Yeah, they are um, specifically for Hawaii, uh, which is always, maybe it's the winter I, I like to talk about that, them. Yeah. yeah, they <laughs> have about 200 daily flights. They also not only carry passengers, but a lot of uh, mail and um, consumer items through all the Hawaiian islands. You oh. don't really think about that aspect of uh -huh. it. Kind of a shuttle service. Yeah. They mm -hmm. got to get supplies and you know groceries and various other things to right. everybody from the mainland to the islands. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, they've been expanding though, not only to the Uni United States. They've been adding a few more nonstop flights from the mainland over. They they now operate out of eleven cities, I believe, in the United States. Mm. But they're adding big in Asia. They've always kind of had an Asian direction, but they have been expanding there. They've just announced that they wanted to add Tokyo Kona, and they, they fly to Australia, to New Zealand, I think Tahiti, um, China, a few other areas over there. So that is a big market for them because yeah. Hawaii's big vacation destination. Right. Um, it's the exact number one rank, as a lot of the airlines are, because those estimates are going up. 
They saw strong growth or expected to see about 75% earnings growth this year and another almost 40% next year so far based on these fuel prices. So you can't, can't argue against this huge growth. The Ford P's, similar to what Farmerica's is, it's 12. Um, that's cheap, but when you look at the chart here, mm -hmm. it's pretty dramatic spike in these share prices over the last couple of months. Um, might scare away some people thinking that this rally's over, why should I get in here? But if you're just looking at the fundamentals, it's still got great value fundamentals, it's got the Zach's number one rank, it's got the strong earnings growth. So I do still see some further charge higher in these airline stocks, especially these ones that aren't overvalued, as Hawaiian Airlines is not. Um, I also put up the earnings surprise chart here, too, for them, because they're reporting in a couple of weeks at the end of January, so we'll get a much better idea what's going on. They do report monthly um, volume and, you know, uh, passenger loads and all that, and November was strong again for them. They've beaten the last four quarters, so I I'm not counting them out to, you know, possibly yeah. do that again this next earnings season. But the airlines, I don't think this story is over yet. And, you know, historically, everybody's hated investing in the airlines. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe I, I, I like them now. I don't know what it is. But obviously, the fuel, lower fuel costs are really putting a boost under their earnings. There's a lot of demand as fuel goes down for just the normal consumer. They're not putting as much in their car. They have some spending money. They might take that vacation now. They might go to Las Vegas or, in this case, Hawaii if you mm -hmm. live on the West Coast. Sure. You're just going to take a quick flight over there. So, you know, the, we don't really know the ramifications of everything with the decline in oil prices, but it could have far reaching effects for a lot of these consumer based companies. So, yeah. All right. Do you own either one? I do not. All right. Check out our website, zax.com, for other stock stories that Tracy writes. Find out which other companies have won over her favor that maybe didn't have that before. She writes a lot of bull and bear of the day stock stories and other commentary as well. And as do other people on Zax.com. And you can link to all of it right off the homepage. So if you're not watching this at Zax.com, get on over. With Tracy, I'm Terry Ruffalo.